Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to remove ambient noise from your microphone as you're recording it. So for people like live streamers, for people who record videos on YouTube and who don't have a very high quality near field microphone, this is going to be a game changer. Now, while I was back on Windows, I used a software called Crisp, and there is another software that's available for NVIDIA users, which is the NVIDIA RTX Broadcast. Now, those are excellent software for removing your for removing the background noise from your audio as you're recording it. And so as I moved over to Linux, I needed some way of being able to do that because YouTube and audio recording is really important to me. Audio is really more important than video. It's not a lie. And so I was looking into different software and they were really not working all that great for me. So I was kind of disappointed. And even though I still miss Crisp, I have found something which really comes close and which is good enough for my daily uses. So turns out the software that's, that comes with your Linux distribution, Pulse Audio, which is used to manage all your audio transactions, so to speak, has an inbuilt feature for ambient noise cancellation and that was great i gave it a try and right now i'm not in a noisy environment so to speak but there are some noises from cars down the street and as you can see the audio is pretty clear so without wasting your time i'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the before and after using the software and then i'm going to show you how to do it it takes a barely a minute to do and it's very easy and you can expect good results as long as you temper your expectations. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So this is the before stage. As you can see, if I stop speaking, the audio meter doesn't really go down. And as you can see over here in the microphone, I have chosen the microphone that's built in audio. I haven't chosen my echo canceled microphone. So it's pretty clear that the noise that is coming through is not very clean and it could be distracting for your viewers to watch. And now I have turned on the software, the software for echo cancellation or noise cancellation. As you can see, I have this one selected. And if I stop speaking, the audio meter is going to go totally down as you can clearly see. So yeah, now we're going to move on to how, act, how to actually implement this in our operating system. Open the terminal. Now, don't be afraid. It's a really, really, really small procedure. Type in sudo nano slash etsy slash pulse slash default dot pa. So this is the configuration file where we're going to be writing a few lines to indicate to our pulse audio software that we want to enable noise cancellation. So go ahead and click enter. Type in your password and scroll down. Now, once you scroll down, you're going to see a bit of code, a few lines over here. What these basically do is canceling your ambient noise and along with that I have another argument which is the analog gain control equals to zero and digital gain control equal to zero so what this will do is this will not automatically adjust your audio levels based on what it thinks is right now I will provide these three lines in the description so you're good to go okay so now that we're done we're going to hit control o to save this file and we're going to hit enter and control plus x to get out of it we can clearly exit the terminal and now we have now what we have to do is type in pulse audio dash k now i'm not going to hit enter because i'm inside of a recording session but once you do that your noise cancellation should be active. Now for this to work, like I am seeing over here, this option should be selected. Now for this to work, what you have to do is you have to open your browser. You have to go into GNOME extensions. And here you have to search for sound output chooser or something along those lines. Now, once you turn on this extension, what it will do is it will help you easily switch between your inputs and outputs, just like here. It's a very handy little tool. I digress, but this is really important if you want to test your audio. 
So now that we're done, we can hit the super key and the launcher will open up. We can type start up applications. And now we're going to click on the add button. Now this is important because when I was testing out the software, people on the internet, they said that adding those three lines will work. But for me, it was working until and unless I rebooted the entire computer on a, on a fresh reboot, the software wasn't there and I had to reapply Pulse Audio hyphen K to make it actually work. So what I did is went ahead and created a starter program. So if I go into my Pulse Audio noise cancellation, you're going to see that I have entered this command and I have put a simple comment to explain what it is and I have given the name Pulse Audio Noise Cancellation and I have saved it. So every time you turn on your computer, Pulse Audio K will get executed and by default, your noise cancellation will be turned on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a really fun experience for me. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.